gonna be doing some bees today. Hopefully get some honey for the market. It's a pretty fashionable industry. So, fashion tip number one, tuck your pants into your socks. You don't want, you don't want a little bee flying up your pants. That is style. interesting how the different hives actually have different personalities. I've found this one, well these two actually on the end here, have just been so aggressive. Like the other ones don't even notice when you go through them. These ones just circle you and just absolutely savage you. That can be a good thing but because it means they're more aggressive to the beetle. There's been a few beetles in here. The beetles are a foreign pest that just wreck the hive, make little tunnels through the honey. Oh, that's a nice full one of honey. Another one nice and full of honey. So being the middle of winter, I'm not going to take honey unless the hives are completely full. Because I just want to make sure they're nice and strong coming up into this summer. I wasn't full, I'm not going to take any honey from this hive. Um, I'll put the little beetle trap back in. Because there's a little bit of a beetle problem in here. The beetles aren't native. So this is my little beetle trap. Um, the holes are too small for bees to get in, but the beetles can fall in. And I've got peanut oil in there. You can use cockroach bait and that sort of stuff, but I like to use as little chemicals as possible. So, it goes in. I'm still new to this beekeeping, so if I say anything that's not exactly right, don't hold me to it. So I'm just going to check the bottom hive just to make sure there's some larvae. There should be. So I'll show you how a hive works. So the top box is purely for honey. And you can see on this bottom beehive there's a grate and the grate makes it so the, the queen can't come through the grate so she can't lay eggs up in the top but all the workers can so yeah it's all just for honey at the top bottoms for brood and yeah oh they're getting a bit psycho So what the smoke does, the smoke makes them 
go eat honey and then when they eat honey they get calm supposedly they get calm and then you can dig your way through the hive without being completely annihilated they glue everything shut with their wax too so that's why I've got to use this tool to try and keep it Start from the outside because you don't really want to disturb the queen and the queen will usually be in the middle because that's where it's warmest and they need to keep the brood at about oh, 35 degrees maybe a bit more 36 all I'm gonna do is try and find some brood then I know the queen's still laying and I'll leave them be to Collecting more pollen, pollinating the local area, and most importantly, making some fun there. So you can see this one, if you can see it, I don't know. It's got pollen in the little holes and honey. That one's pollen and honey. So there's no brood in that one means I'll drop it off to the side because you don't want to leave the brood out in the winter so they can get a bit cold and die. So I've got five hives to check for honey today. And then you can see in this one, I don't know if you can, but there's some little white larvae in some of the holes. So, to me, I'm happy with that. Not enough honey to take from this hive. That's alright. As long as they're healthy, because I've lost three hives since in the last six months. So my ten hives are down to seven. This hive is aggressive. Well, it was a pretty disappointing bee day. Uh, I went through my two sick hives that I've been feeding. They're still, still pretty sick, still pretty small. I, uh, they might survive. I'm not sure. One's one's definitely gone. I think. I reckon there's only like 50 bees left in the hive. It's pretty much gone. The other one's about the same as it was a couple of weeks ago. So maybe it's on the up. I don't know. Um, four four of the hives, the big strong ones. They were. They weren't too bad. They were about had about the same honey and they had about a couple of weeks ago when I checked them, so I didn't want to take any out because it's winter, you know, not many flowers around. But one hive, oh, I don't know how I missed it, but there was a huntsman in the top box, so I couldn't even get out the huntsman if I wanted to. It was like that big. I would have just been in there munching bees for the last couple of weeks and there wasn't many bees left in the top box and it was... It was half full of honey, but now it was empty, so I took the top box off, put it back down to one, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, no honey to get to harvest. I'm going to talk to my bee mentor, but because he might have some honey, and then I can have some for the markets, and it's all local still and raw.